Michael. Craig, a lot to break down there. Uh, I guess uncharacteristic compared to how you performed this year. What were some of the key concerns for you and uh, reasons for that, do you think? Oh, I just thought the game probably was one I lost now, looking at it in the second quarter. Really, there's a uh, you know, 35-point margin, I think it was, or something around that, and that was the, the total margin in the end. Um, I thought in that quarter, clearly, we gave away some uncharacteristic you know, free kicks from our centre bounces you know, not being organised, and it's something we want to pride ourselves on. Um, you know, there's not a stat about being connected, but that's something we want to you know, be AFL one at, and we weren't. Um, I challenged the guys at a half time around what that looked like, and um, you can't give a team like Brisbane on the home deck territory, and we gave them you know, gifts for free kicks at centre bounces that and resulted in us um, having to struggle to get the ball out of there. I know you've got injuries, but was th were those free kicks from potential confusion surrounding who was going to the ruck, or was there a reason for them? Oh, I think might, one of them might have been, but um, yeah, we had a little sort of something we were trying to do with Billy Frampton at times, but that might have been the case. But no, we, there's no excuses to that. that. That's within our control, and you know, to give up three really quickly, it, it just shows how disconnected we were for that part of the game, and then the result is what it is. Um, I thought we fought, fought the game out reasonably well. Um, yeah, we had a few uncustomary decision-making areas or skill areas, but you know, the conditions up here sometimes allow that. How much uh, do you think that deficiency in the run did impact in the end? Well, we scored more from stoppage than they did. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, in terms of losing territory, it's always a cost. Um, yeah, it's something we're going to have to really work through the next period. It's, it's not a, there's no quick fix to it. There's no there's no magic dust towards it. We've, we've got what we've got and we just have to work through it. I, I thought we had patches that tonight, like Ash Johnson, we, I think we found a player. Like he's, um, he's doing some stuff more consistently than he has in the past and um, yeah, that, that could be a little gift for us. So given that, do you think it's probably smart just to keep, keep with it and develop that rather than look at another way to go about that? Well, again, I don't think there's a magic solution to it. Um, you know, we, we, we're going to have to work through and get better at what we're doing. Um, the clearances weren't a huge cost. It was only a, you know, half a dozen here or there. And um, like I said, we, we, we won the, the, the scoring battle from stoppage, um, which we thought if we could manage that at the start of the game, we, we'd be OK. Um, that was always a threat, their ability to score from stoppage. So anyway, it's the first, first real game we've had of it, and I'm sure we're going to learn a lot from it. So, uh, well, I guess it would have been a long day for Jack after the video last night. You, you were happy for him to play tonight, um, given what happened? or? Oh, yeah, I'm not going to comment on, on what's going on with it and in terms of Jack. I'm, it's like every player on our list, we, we love and support them and 100% got their back um, around you know, them as people and humans. Um, you know, like I've said this before, there's, there's lots of stuff that goes on within our players that I'm not always going to condone. I'm a father and I don't always condone with the things my kids do. Um, but at the end of the day, we love and support them, and um, that's not going to change. It's hard from a preparation perspective, Craig. Do you think it had an impact today on the group? On no, us? no, I wouldn't have thought so. Yeah. I don't make excuses for anything. Um, Brisbane are really good. Like, let's let's face it, they've beaten Melbourne up here. Everyone's saying that Melbourne are the team to beat, and then we've gone down as well. They're, I think they've lost four games in the last five years up here. Let, let's let's call it is. They're, they're very good. What do you learn then, Craig? Is it like probably your first speed bump for this year? Yeah, off Brisbane, or just in, oh, we've learned a lot about ourselves. But obviously, if we play Brisbane again, we're, we're going to have to be, you know, particularly uh, good around our territory and maintaining that and connecting inside fifty is something we didn't quite do. And, and then finishing your shots, like we had more scoring shots, so we generate enough opportunities. Um, but yeah, we're chasing our tail for pretty much the second half. I know the time.